Hey there, hey there, hey there. So today is day 14 of 88 days to manifest your best life or manifest your best life in 88 days, whichever way you want to cut it. And this is a very special day because today we are dealing with the last or the seventh of the major chakras, the crown chakra. This is the one that I think everybody is like between the crown and the third eye. This is the one that when they think of chakras, that's like the main one that they think of. Right. And um, it's interesting to me that while, yes, it's all of them are important. I think we place so much emphasis on that third eye and the crown chakra that we don't really give it its just due. In other words, I think that we are requesting and requiring more of that these upper chakras, then we probably should because all of them have to work in concert and be in alignment in order for you to function properly as the being that you truly are. Okay. And in order for you to manifest or create your world or recreate the world in your desired manner, all of them have to be in alignment, right? So the crown chakra is symbolized by that lotus flower, you know, with a thousand petals. So it gives this infinite feel to it, right? And it is truly the divine consciousness. Like that's the ultimate kind of gateway from the physical to the divine. And then there's uh, actually one, two, three more, four more up top, <laughs> four more chakras up top, and then one more down below. So uh, there's an earth star chakra and then there's a uh, four more even above the crown. So that really to, to me, the crown literally located at the top of your head. So, you know, when a baby is born and either the crown of their skull is soft and malleable, it's not kind of closed down and, and hard bone. And yes, that is because that, you know, it's all, there's a lot of different reasons, but one of the most significant metaphysical reasons I feel like is once you're kind of out into exposed to the open air and exposed to the 3D where you're an independent being from your mother, right? Then that that's kind of when the 3D world really kind of creeps in. It's almost symbolic to me of, okay, we're going to shut all this down so that you can begin on your journey, right? Your 3D physical journey. That's a whole nother aside. Um, but it is, it is represented by violet, which is the color of purity, spirituality, and enlightenment. The element is consciousness, just pure consciousness. There's no water fire. There's no space. It's just pure consciousness. So your, your, your eternal ethereal being um, in its purest form would, I would say would be what I would represent as consciousness. It is the highest level of us. That is really kind of like that gateway to the connection to the higher self. So when I talk about being connection to higher self, it is, you know, you're connecting out through the crown chakra. I often talk about that this vertical um, conversation is so much more important than the conversations you're having here, because if you're not having a proper conversation between third dimensional and fifth dimensional and beyond, if you're not having this proper conversation and this alignment isn't there where you can really be led by the spirit realm, right? And truly be a spirit led being, right? A being of love, right? When we talk about being an, uh, um, reborn or Christ-like, that's really actually vibrating and living, by the vibration of love and light and being being aware, awakened to your higher consciousness. We talked about being woke yesterday, being awakened to your higher consciousness. When your crown chakra is open, when it is in alignment, when it is not blocked, when you are not blocking, I want you to also understand something. A blockage of the third eye, so especially, or the crown chakra really is you. It can be other people telling you certain things to make you disbelieve. But at the end of the day, it's you that has to decide that you're ready to open it. It's you that there is no outside influence that says, okay, we're just going to bloop, open your crown. No, you from a higher self perspective, consciously or unconsciously have made a decision that it is time for your third eye to be activated or opened and the crown chakra to be open and imbalanced. That is when we go through our spiritual awakening, right? Um, we have a clarity of mind. I'm looking over here because I have notes. Um, we begin to get a greater clarity of mind. In other words, the 3D mind and the 
5D consciousness finally start to gel and say, oh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to get it. You're going to find that you have an increased empathy and compassion. You have a greater sense of purpose. Why? Because right above the crown chakra, right about six inches or so above, is the Ka chakra. Ka. And that is where our soul's purpose is, is held. So the the knowing, and we're, and we're not going to get into that right now, but the, the knowing of this Ka chakra, the knowing that yours, what your soul purpose is and what you, desi- what you desire to come here to do and to be is held in that Ka chakra. And as it's held in that Ka chakra, once the crown chakra is open, now we have a pathway to what? Higher consciousness. So now one of the first things that drops in is, I'm here for a higher purpose. I know I'm here for a higher purpose. And you begin to discern and 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 and, and learn and remember why you came here, okay? Your intuition is of course going to improve and you're going to begin to have a reduced level of anxiety and stress. I will say to you, though, at first, people say, well, no, that was way more stressful when my crown and my third eye opened. It can be because it's jolting to the to the physical being because now we're having higher vibrations and higher frequencies enter into the physical being as a reality, whereas before it was just a fantasy. So that can be a little jarring as you're trying to navigate and get your sea legs, so to speak. It can also be a little jarring because you're going to begin to see things. You're going to have visions. You're going to have dreams. You're going to have more lucid dreams. You, you right? All of these things kind of come online as if you like turn on these different programs and other people may not believe you. They may not understand you. Some people may think you're nuts. That's just kind of a, right? So it can be a little, eh, but what you need to do is plug into either online or in-person communities like this one where we know and where we believe you and where we're not going to call you crazy, right? We're all higher beings. We are all spiritual beings here having a human experience. And at this community, we get that. And that's how we live our lives, right? Now, when we're going through a depression, we're feeling a lack of purpose. We It's harder to focus that's very confusing. You know, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of indecisiveness, a lot of, you know, you're just like, oh, I feel super disconnected. That's showing that there's either a partial or a complete blockage. And, and I will say, and sometimes you can get headaches and migraines and like, it can be kind of weird. Insomnia, like fatigue, like that's all physical ramifications of what could potentially be happening in your crown chakra. So listen, if you're beginning to experience that and you need to go through that healing, again, purples, we talked um, yesterday about the amethyst um, and I would say like celestite, that's what this one looks like, clear quartz, selenite, all of those are just going to help, right? They're just going to help kind of ease things. I will say, take some time to go, like if you can go outside, go into nature, if you can draw yourself a nice bath. If you can diffuse like frankincense, myrrh, lavender, um, what else would help with the crown chakra? Anything, any incense that's of a higher realm. If you can burn incense, that's like divine healing or divine temple. Those help as well. Um, relax, meditate, relax, and just kind of allow your physical being to relax so that your ethereal being can get back online. Okay. So be gentle with yourself. All right, guys, that's my take on the crown chakra. I want you to never forget, please give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. And I'll see you soon. Bye.